partner. First Friday of the month. That means we check in with Don Pinnell from John L. Scott here in Shelton. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy first Friday. We were yeah. uh, talking last visit mm -hmm. about some of the ways that people prepare their homes for sale, fixing things up and finding the costs associated with, right. you know, like cracks in the foundation and what that does. And right. What else? The, what are we going to move on to today? I thought I'd do uh, a little bit about some of the interior stuff today. We kind of went through exterior last time and so interior this time. Yeah. So, and a lot of people kind of com concentrate either on one or the other, but it takes both. Sure. Um, you can have great curb appeal. But then once people get inside the house, and yeah, it's not, kind of not so much. Step backwards right <laughs> out the so front door. <laughs> right. So it takes both. So um, it's good good to, to kind of take a look at these things. Sure. So starting with the windows. Um, mm. So there's, then there, again, there's a whole big long list that I would be happy to go over if people had specific questions. But I just picked a couple okay. of the things. Uh, one is a skylight. Um might be a good thing to, especially if your house is older and dark. Sometimes putting a skylight in can can be helpful. Um, you can expect to pay eight hundred or more for a skylight. So that's the cost of probably you know the actual unit itself and install installation. So. All right. So now I'm going to stop you there already. Okay. And what about those like solar tubes? Those are cool. I didn't that they didn't list that on here, but yeah, I've been in a couple houses that had those. And those. Have you ever seen that, Spencer? No, no, it's not. They provide a lot of light. They're, it's just a tube that goes up through the, it's just like, oh, maybe 10 inches yeah. in diameter. And it just goes up to the roof and it just allows light in just for that. But wow. It's got I've a seen, lot of mirror. So it's so like, it's like it, refracting the light yeah. so it spreads more than yeah. a traditional skylight. And I've been in houses where you'd swear that every light in the place was on and, wow. and none of them were because yeah. it was just that much light coming in. So especially in hallways and those kinds of things, those are, yeah. I wish they, they, there wasn't a, a cost on those. So I don't know what those cost, but those are cool. They are kind of yeah. neat. Yeah. I've so, thought about those. A lot of times now people are really looking for light. You know, they want they want light coming in into their houses. So anything that you can do to bring more light in is, is usually a good thing. And right? after install, it's free light. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And maybe that's why they're they're looking for un unelectric. Yeah, I was in a I was in a room that had one of these things and they're like, well, we've got some uh, sheets if if we need, because come five or six, you know, here in the Northwest, as you're starting to learn, mm -hmm. it's lighter later. Yeah. Yeah. And so these right. rooms are going to be right. lit right. into nine o'clock sometimes yeah. here as we get closer to summer. Right. So right. if you're trying to fall asleep, well, it's <laughs> tough. But your your office... Yeah. Natural light is great for, right. for people. In right. Their, yeah. or, yeah, like I said, hallways yeah. or bathrooms. It's great for moods too, you know? Yeah, yeah right. for exactly. sure. Instead of exactly. artificial yeah. lights. Huh. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, and then uh, storm doors, uh, storm windows are always a, another good thing that yeah. people are concerned about. If you get an aluminum storm window, that can cost you 75 to $200. Wow. Uh, thermal glass, which is also a good thing, in an existing frame, you can figure about $32 a square foot. Uh -huh. for that so and then moving on to kitchens and bathrooms which are always the two biggies mm. you know if you're gonna if you're gonna just pick two rooms to to update in in a house the kitchen and the bathroom are usually pretty good pretty good choices mm -hmm. kitchen cabinets can run you uh, anywhere from 50 to 125 dollars a linear foot and those are you know obviously not custom usually but but just cabinets off the off the shelf yeah, <laughs> yeah. can go uh so Custom can obviously be anywhere up from there. Uh, laminate countertops can be $45 a, a linear foot. Marble countertops, which is in the new big thing, is uh, can be $80 a linear foot. Where do you, where do you people get marble countertops these days? I mean, I would imagine there is a finite supply of marble. In right. The world. There are some pretty big quarries around, and and so they they just big, get hmm. these big slabs, yeah, and then cut them up into. But yeah, I would think that at some point we're going to run out, you know. So, but now they're starting to make uh, quartz and and laminates that look like marble. So, wow. so you know you can you can go that route too. Um, a full kitchen re renovation, where you you completely redo the whole thing, can be seventy five hundred up. Oh yeah. So, yeah, and you can get up into the thirty forty thousands pretty quickly if you, depending on what you want to do. So and bathrooms can be uh, five thousand and up. Mm -hmm. So. Good thing to keep in mind. A lot of times, uh, where you really run into the expense on these things, I've found is that if you if you try and move things, 
So like in a bathroom, if you want to move where the toilet and the bathtub is, and the sink is, oh, it's yeah. going to cost you more than if you just use the existing footprint mm -hmm. and, and replace fixtures. So that's something to keep in mind. Mm, okay. Sometimes yeah. you can you know, save, save a little bit of money that way by not moving things around. Um, flooring is another big thing. Um, I always tell people to just make sure their floor is clean. Um, if, it, if you have older carpeting, if you can clean it, sometimes you're better off than to go the route because somebody else may come in and want different colors or yeah. different kinds or, you know, so if, if you can get away with just a good cleaning, you're probably better off, but sometimes you can't do that. So you're going to have to replace. We're so, so happy we have hardwood floors and laminates now. The old house was just carpets everywhere yeah. and just with pets and kids and yeah. stains oh. it was just awful pets is pets is bad yeah so now they have the waterproof stuff which is awesome hmm. that's what i have in my house yeah well, waterproof <laughs> yeah. what waterproof vinyl plank flooring it oh looks, yeah yeah it, wow. looks like, it looks exactly like wood yeah. but it's it's completely waterproof I mean, you spill something on it, you just wipe it right off. That's amazing. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Like awesome awesome stuff. Yeah. I was really glad when they invented that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So carpet cleaning can run you anywhere from $125 per room yeah. up or depending on who you use and, and what you want them to do. Sometimes they will clean and deodorize varying degrees of success sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, you know, um, and carpeting and under padding to replace is going to run you probably 6 to $11 a square foot. Oh, yeah. uh, hardwood. Uh, can run you um, this about the same actually hardwood and and ceramic tile is about the same cost anymore of, hmm. of carpeting which is interesting um, to refinish hardwood you can run f anywhere from 11 to 16 dollars a square foot to total to refinish it keep in mind that laminates cannot be refinished so if you have a laminate floor you're gonna have to either replace it or or clean it because hmm. it you can't hardwoods you can sand down yeah, that's true. A variety, you know, I'm not sure quite how many, how many times it has to get down to a certain thickness before you can't do it anymore. But, and and it's amazing what you can do with real hardwoods as far as sanding things out. I mean, you can have a real burn spot even and sand it out and refinish it, and you'd never know. Sure. So professional though, right? Because right, right. you don't want to be, I, you know, knowing me, I start the sander up and next thing you know, and gouge a hole, it out you know, a <laughs> yeah, yeah. hardwood leave it running and go through the, yeah, the right. summer yeah right i've always something. wondered what about like uh, like dated housing mm -hmm. like you look at a house and you say gosh that's so brady bunch or so 70s right, what right. were they thinking but at the time everyone was doing that you know right. the orange countertops and the laminates and everything right. is there anything like today that someone you know, 20 years from now you go well that's so 2019 i mean are there things that people should look out for when they're maybe uh designing their house or decorating so it isn't so dated or a is it future proofing yeah. it's you know, yeah is it I, hard to say until after the fact it, yeah yeah because yeah. in the 80s everybody thought oh you know this is going to be what everybody's going to want forever well yeah it's like mullets not so much yeah, yeah, right, like members mullets. only jackets were cool so <laughs> right. yeah and bell bottoms and, and uh, that's you know. true i guess we don't know we're in it until after the fact we look back on it. right but but a good rule of thumb is to try and keep it as neutral as you possibly can okay. when you're getting ready to sell it you know mm -hmm. what what your own personal taste is may not be what somebody else's personal taste yeah. is. That southwestern motif with the tumbleweeds might not be what no, everybody You're wants. right, right. And, the, and, the, and the, the bleached out uh, skull over yeah. the fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> People may not, not, so <laughs> may not want That's that. Funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, so doors is the next one. And, and an exterior door, you can expect to pay $1,000. Interior door, you can pay $500. And that's to replace some French doors, which is real popular now. Usually run ten thousand or a thousand dollars up. Mm. So uh, it might be worth it to do that, just because if somebody's looking for that as an as kind of the new thing, yeah. you know, might be might be worth it to you to put that in. Um, stairs and railings, a standard stair, which is uh, seven risers made out of oak, thousand plus. Wow. Um, stair railing, just the railing to replace is could be forty two to sixty three dollars a linear foot, right, depending, depending on, on, on your wavy and things like that. Yeah, and depending on what material you use, mm. if you use wood or metal or, or any something like that. Um, insulation is a big one, and that runs you know anywhere from a dollar to two dollars a square foot, uh, depending on what you want. Yeah. Um, you can get blown in, you can get loose, you can get bats, you can get all kinds of stuff. And there are standards so, on that too. Like you can't just pick something and go for if you're spraying in it needs to be a certain, a certain r value right, is that right a certain thickness right right oh. and and so yeah and and like in a roof you'd need more more uh 
R value, they call it, than, than in a wall, yeah. even in an exterior wall, you'd need more than an interior wall, that kind of stuff. A lot of these so. things that we're talking about are not things where, okay, uh, I'm going to sell my house. Mm hmm now let's do the work a lot of this stuff you have to pre-plan right and you should have some things like insulation you should be keeping up on anyway i mean it, it a lot of times people find um and i found this in my own house uh you don't go down in the crawl space I, or at least i never did right and lo and behold went down there and some of the insulation had fallen down oh yeah you never know I, I, yeah i wouldn't have known oh. so so but but a home inspector for a for a sale is going to know for sure and going to say hey you need to put that back up again and that could so. you know if you have work to be done mm -hmm. based on construction other construction projects it could be uh, months absolutely out to get absolutely to, uh, a, a good contractor a in absolutely the especially work. especially this time of year yeah yeah, yeah. Huh. so yeah it's always good to to kind of keep up on those things. I mean, I, much as people hate to think about going down in their crawl space, it might not be a bad thing to do to just poke your head in there once a year or so, yeah, well, just to see what's what's going on you down there. Come over and do that. You're more than welcome. Yeah, right. Down, <laughs> down no, I always I always say that's why we hire people. <laughs> Don, we're oh, just hi. about out of time here, so uh, okay. let's get your phone number. And uh, you got some great information for folks who want to come by the office. Yes, and, just and I have this. I have this at my office. So if you have a specific question about a uh, certain thing, then. Um, I would be happy to go over it with you. And you can reach me at 360-490-4493. I would love to uh, sit down and talk with anybody who has has uh, something on their mind. And keep in mind that this is a good time to, if you're in the market, to buy a house. Yep. There's, they're starting to be more available now. So uh, we'd love to show some to you. Seeing that for sure. So we'll continue this conversation, then talk about maybe some of the new op listings here the next time yeah, we visit. Hopefully. In two hope weeks so. or so. Yeah, hope so. Have good a great weekend. You. Thank you. You too. Good to see you.